Welcome to Muffin Monday. Now this is the largest muffin I have ever seen in my entire life. But what I did is I took my brownie mix that I had in an earlier video. I'll make sure and put the in the description the brownie muffin mix. Now what I'm going to do is I purchased some mini marshmallows from Walmart and these are already completely done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, and they're very hot, I'm going to spread the marshmallows out evenly on the top. I'm going to cover it all the way. So this is going to make a huge muffin that I can take to a gathering, I can drop off at a friend's house, I can do just about anything with this because it is a definite crowd pleaser. Okay, that's half a bag of marshmallows, <laughs> mini marshmallows. The bag is approximately, it says value size, oh, it's 16 ounces. So that is eight ounces of marshmallows. I'm going to put this back in the oven for just a few minutes. Well, bef yes, for just a few minutes, and then I'll bring you right back. Okay, I have warmed up these marshmallows. I know that sounds crazy, but I just wanted them a little warm and melted. Because the next step in my Muffin Monday for this large muffin is I'm going to take these little squares see if it'll focus, these Ghirardelli sea salt squares, and it's chocolate. I have about 10, but I'm going to place some of these chocolate pieces on the top, and I know you're thinking this is so rich and sweet. Yes, it is, but this is not for every day. This is for special occasions. You know, if you go to a party, if you go to even a football party, like watching party, you could take this after it's cooled, you could slice it and put it on a tray, a decorative tray, and have it as a football snack. Hold on and let me, I'll bring you right back after it's melted just a little bit. Well, I'm so, I'm so glad you stuck around. I saw you over there in the prep refrigerator grabbing a, a cold beverage, and that's great. Nice ice water is good to go with this. Now, as you see, you see the chocolate is kind of shiny. That means it's melting. What I'll do now is let this sit for a couple hours, cool off. I may leave it just like it is and take it to a friend's house for a gathering. I might slice it into bars and put it on a platter and take it to a football gathering. But this is Mega Muffin Monday, I guess you'll call it, because I consider this a muffin, but it's a Mega Muffin. I am so glad you stopped by in my kitchen. If you're in the neighborhood, definitely stop by, ring the bell, come on in, have a seat, have a muffin, enjoy some conversation, and I'll fix you a hot beverage, or you may want a cold beverage, iced tea. In the description below, you'll find the recipe to the Mega Muffin that I just made. And have you ever made a Mega Muffin like this? Be sure to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. It's a twist on Muffin Monday, so I thought I'd surprise y'all. Now, oh, and there's my timer for the next thing to, to bake. Also, again, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, make a comment, subscribe, and don't forget that little bell. It needs to be lit so you don't miss the next Muffin Monday. Thank you for stopping by my kitchen. And I'll see you soon.